Now, this show is all about being creative. And creativity can take so many different ways, can't it? Just because, you know, you might not be able to write music, you might not be able to sing, but you you could write scripts, you could write books, things that come from the heart, you know, you can you can do so many things. And um, and this is uh, quite a cool thing that's happened in Kidderminster quite recently. Now, Tom Lee Rutter, a filmmaker based in Kidderminster, made all sorts of films. Now, he wrote, directed, edited uh, Bella in The Witch Elm, uh, which was a film about the uh, the legend of uh, The Witch Elm in Hagley. So he wrote that. That's a good film. And he's just const- he's constantly working, you know, doing lots of films, being very creative, collaborating with lots of people. And he's just had a premiere of his film, The Pocket Film of Superstitions. And, um, you know, I was blessed to go along to the premiere. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was blessed to go along to that. In fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Before you hear our chat, let me just play you a trailer for the film. This moving picture presentation is about to cover many superstitions. Superstitions are prime examples of our uttermost oddness of behaviours. Each and every one of us in our daily lives are tied to superstitions of varying degrees. This moving picture presentation will illustrate common known superstitions and some you may never have even heard of. The Pocket Film of Superstitions. You may applaud if you wish. God bless you, my darling. (laughs) And there was a lot of applause as well. So that's a trailer of a film that he has out at the moment. Um, As you you heard then, all about superstitions. Um, So he uploaded that to us here at the BBC. um, And I managed to go along, like I said, to the premiere. Posh do. I did... I did turn up in my jeans, though, slightly underdressed with some of the people that were there. It all happened in Kidderminster at the Loom Cinema, which is a fairly new cinema, really. It's a proper independent cinema. It's lovely. You go in and you can see some of the big films. And at the moment, they're showing a lot of the Christmas classics. Um, But, yeah, very warm and welcoming. Um, So when I got there, watched the film, and then afterwards, I had a chat with the man himself, Tom Lee Rutter. Well, we're here at the Loon Cinema in uh, Kidderminster, which I haven't been to before. It's a newish cinema. Um, and I'm going to talk to the man in the moment, actually. How are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> very relieved now, thank you, Nina. Right. Yes, it's, it's been a quite a tense but exciting and happy evening. Yeah, it must have been. I mean, this is quite a new cinema for a start, and it's great to see an independent cinema in Kidderminster, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, they're here like they're here, so if you can bring the people in to the cinema and watch something unique, then you know you're doing something right, so we can bring that to Kidderminster. Let's do it. Yeah, and I can hear all the people here. You can hear how busy it's been. So tell me about the film that we've just seen. So you've written, directed, animated, even, st- animated, even started it. So oh, it's exhausting <laughs> thinking about it, to be honest with you. Exactly. So tell us all about what it's about and how the idea came. To- so, uh, this is a, a progression of five years' work. I've been uh, working on this since April 2018. It was basically a follow-on from a film that I'd made called Bella in the Witch Elm, which was a local yeah. short film. And I found working full-time, I needed to devise a, a way of making films without having to get actors come back day in, day out, because before I'd film one scene to another, they'd be like their hair would grow and it'd be like two <laughs> years apart. Yeah. So why don't I make a film where I can get people to come and go and make little vignettes about superstitions and things that we love bring an almanac of superstitions to life because i don't know uh, those who might know what i do I, i'm into really kind of weird morbid quite gothic stuff yeah, so yeah, it yeah. naturally fit the bill really yeah <laughs> no it was brilliant i mean when we're watching it, i mean it's all obviously um in black and white you're getting loads of hugs off people 
hands up. It's an emotional night. Oh, oh, all in black, all in black and white. And you've also got that touch of like Monty Python humour going through uh -huh. as well, haven't you? Absolutely. I think there's a sense of oldie worldy kind of uh, quaint British eccentricity yes. that yeah. that I suppose we don't really see too much of in films today, especially from a, a, my generation, maybe. So. I'm a massive fan of the Bonzo Dog Doodah band, Python, but also all those 70s horror films, the Hammer Horrors, the Wicker Man, Witchfinder General, all those films. So basically, why don't we try and bring all this together into one big soup of, of quaint weirdness? You know? <laughs> it's been brilliant know quaint weirdness. I don't know how else to describe it. Today. Well, it's brilliant quaint weirdness. And what also, what was being here tonight, I've met so many other people from Kidderminster that I know that are in bands that... You know, and it's been a real, like, there's a lot of love for the town. A lot of people want to get involved with you as well. Uh, you know, that's a big thing, isn't it? The, the, the localness. Well, we're very lucky in Kidderminster because we have three or four different people making films, horror films as well, which is uh, very strange. But we don't tread on each other's toes. We just support each other. So we open the night tonight with some local trailers from fellow Kidderminster filmmakers who are making feature films off their own back. And this is the time to support that, you know. And... We all help each other out. We're just a very happy creative hub here because when you've got a town where, you know, maybe there isn't as many opportunities as there may have once been, people just get creative. So, and they work together and create things. And they most definitely do, and in this wonderful cinema as well. So that's great. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, Nina. Thank, Thank you for you. listening to me waffle. <laughs> okay, so Mr. James E. Taylor, Mr. Kidderminster, I've got to say, now having a little look close about what you're wearing, that tie has got little skulls on, white skulls. You're looking very smart tonight. <laughs> well, I always make an effort for Tom's events. Uh, I do have skulls on my tie. I also have a matching pocket square with uh, skulls on here. And you've got a waistcoat on. Well, I'm wear crushed velvet to Tom's events. You know, all events crushed velvet. <laughs> There's a film premiere as well, so it's got to be done. <laughs> well, I'm the only one here in crushed velvet, so I do feel slightly out of place. <laughs> it's a busy night, isn't it? I mean, I've just been talking to Tom, so it's a premiere of his film, but you've obviously been a major part in it as well. I was there on day one with Tom filming, and I was there on the final day of filming, and many days in between. There isn't anything I wouldn't do for Tom, but if, he, if there's anything this guy asks me to do, anything he needs, I'll be there in a heartbeat. He's like my brother. He has got the vision and he has got a way of looking at making films that other people just don't have. And there is a great filmmaking community in Kidderminster, isn't there? Well, you have Baz Hancher, Kieran Edwards, Tom, of course, um, and stretching further afield, you know, you, you have Alan Birch, just over in Stairbridge as well, of course, making uh, some spectacular films. We, short, we saw his short tonight, The Seat, which was fantastic. Um, the community all around here is very talented. Great actors, great filmmakers. We're lucky, really. Very lucky. And also lucky to have this independent cinema here as well, to house... Well, The Loom is uh, doing its best to keep cinema alive. It's it's obviously struggling at the moment. Post-Covid, you know, most cinemas are struggling. But it's great to see a busy place, you know, an independent place doing well on a Friday evening and showing local films that are getting great reception. Now, there were quite a few trailers of films coming up. Tell me about what film you've got coming up. Well, the first trailer was for Mosaic, where I have a voiceover um, role. Uh, the second trailer trailer was uh, Axel Falcon where I play I think three characters in that one and then <laughs> there's Blood Demons which is Kieran Edwards opus um, I play the lead character Jake uh, Wilcox in, in Blood it's released in January I believe great okay and where's the premiere for that going to be that's down in Essex at South End Horror on Sea Film Festival brilliant so I mean that's the thing around here making a real dent into like the horror film circuit we've got three or four films from Kidderminster filmmakers showing down at Horror on Sea so, yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit of a Kidderminster takeover. <laughs> so, there you go. That's a, a locally uh, made film in the Midlands. Really good. Basically, they filmed it all over the place. And there were people from all over the place that were involved in it. And it was really nice to go and meet um, lots of different people that had... Um, some of them had other day jobs, um, but it was an outlet for people to be to people to be creative. And there was, um, yeah, sort of bands there that I've seen before. They were watching it. You could kind of recognise places uh, in the Midlands where it had been 
filmed and bits and bobs in Kidderminster. Uh, yeah, but that was really good. So that is Tom Lee Rutter. He's a filmmaker based in Kidderminster as well. The film that we saw then uh, was a pocket film of superstitions. Um, he's got lots of other films out. And I'll tell you what, I've been a bit of a film buff myself. If you are making any films, I love a short film as well. Can you send it in to me? Can you? Because I, I love sitting there having a look through the film. So if you've got that, upload it to me. You know what to do. <laughs> 